seven times maybe in the this season locally alone. Yeah. And Cake has a destructively good record against Penguin right now. Yeah, he's the only one that can basically touch him. I think Penguin's nearly like barely dropped games to anyone else apart from Cake. He's the only uh, one that can actually touch him. Uh, right CB, right now, the only people that have uh, beaten him. Windows actually caused the big upset and beat uh, Penguin at Heat Wave 4. But outside of that, Penguin has not lost anyone. We're starting game one on Merchant Port here. Honestly, like with these two, I don't really feel like there's much of a counter pick uh, decision in the in their minds when they play. Yeah, I feel like they've gone through every stage together at this point. They kind of yeah. have the ideas of like who does better on which one. So it's mostly going to be about how they're feeling in the moment. Yeah, that's kind of what I feel. And this this matchup, I mean, it, it it could be rough for Absol. Absolutely. Forest has a lot of really good tools to just be able to get in on Absa, especially using Clone like that. I know Cake will he'll put Clone in front and then run at you so that F Tilt 2 will just trade with the Clone, and he can use that to close some distance. Yeah, Forrest exactly. has some really good tools for being able to like approach Absa. I know he loves calling Ooh. out Cake's rising, I mean, calling out Penguin's rising cloud for like full hot bear. Yeah, we just saw there that Penguin called out uh, the Clone in the air dodge with an up air right there. He tried to drop down with a back air, but it just wasn't going to happen. Yeah. Penguin's like, no, I have you above me. Easy. He wants to tech chase to see, like, see what uh, Cake's options were when he was going low. Oh, that should be another... Yeah. Oh! Hey, they air dodged in different directions. <laughs> yeah, I think Penguin wants to try and like, air dodge with him to see if he would do it, because he ended up dropping into a sour spot fair, seeing Penguin do a, pan I mean, he could do a panic option. Mm, that is actually going to do it. The RNG in Cake's all favor. It's always in his favor. <laughs> He's got oh. it on lock. Yeah, exactly. It works, and I mean, like, it, it's a it's a goof in uh in the community that you know four turns up smashes are consistent because of the cape hitbox, but it's the RNG. It is the RNG. Has to swing in the right angle. I've heard that if you do it like backwards, it slides in easier because that's where the cape is. Because like with the front hitbox, they have to like hold in on it. People usually just pick a random direction to DI, and I think that's what makes it inconsistent. But right there, Penguin just edge guarding Forsbrand of all of their resources until they're just unable to even consider recovering back. Yeah, nice. and then from there, all you have to do is just like parry them. If they do come up, and you can just like either push them off stage or just kill them with like an up smash. Yeah, right now, Penguin poised to take game one pretty dominantly. Cake is. Uh, Keiki needs to get the momentum going again because Penguin's found an answer to the clone and no smoke means no real stage control. Like, it's good to at least try and put up a little bit of smoke. But right now, Cake's trying to fight with a lot of normals. Yeah. Not having a lot, really trying to Having play. a lot of smoke out is really, really good for Forest Brim because it kind of helps him like, up into it, get his jump back, and being able to approach from different angles. It's also a little hard for Absa to get rid of smoke that isn't like directly next to her because just like being able to like do with a short hop fair is a little hard. Cloud takes a little bit too much time to get out. F2 is a little bit laggy. She has yeah. like, a de decently hard time getting rid of smoke, so it's pretty good in this matchup. Yeah, especially the ledge. I mean, I say this a lot, but like, uh, I was actually mentioning it earlier. Ooh, great down smash. Uh, smoke at the ledge in general is good because it masks Forsman's intent when he's trying to edge guard you. Because it, it's easy enough to know, like, oh, okay, he's probably going to go for a down tilt. But, like, he, when the smoke's there, he could suddenly be charging, like, forward smash, up tilt. Like, he could do anything. Absolutely. I know earlier when he was playing with MSB, he was using smoke at ledge when MSB was down there with uh, with Pillar. And he was using that. He would throw clone out there sometimes. Sometimes he Ooh. would F cape to pull him in with a down tilt bear. Just speaking of bear, that bear is going to take him one. <laughs> <laughs> Explosive abs of bear. That's a yeah. big kick. Yeah, Penguin's feeling pretty good today. He's only dropped a few games so far this whole tournament. I believe one to me and then two to ZB. But I don't know. Maybe maybe he's, maybe he's found his groove again. Yeah, this is the first game Cake has dropped, and I'm not surprised. He's the only person who can touch him nowadays. I mean, he's been a little bit less consistent than Penguin, but still, it's Cake. So. Yeah, they go back and forth more than... Anyone can imagine. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, that, that could have been another. Bear. I think the triple pick dangerous. is interesting. I consider this a very good Absa stage. I think it might just be how he's feeling in the moment because I definitely think this is like one of Absa's better stages. I mentioned this earlier. You can vouch for this, but this t the stages with the letter T, Treetop, Tower, Truple, even Tempest, they're all considered very good Absa stages. Uh, like yeah, generally. though, I mean, generally, most people will not go to Tempest. But yeah, it's I mean, it's culturally unacceptable. <laughs> yeah. Culturally unacceptable. It, it's, I do, it's taboo. I, yeah, I do genuinely think though that like Tempest is good for like quite a few characters because it makes the recoveries a lot better just because of the overhang platform. Crag the, especially. Platform, like, great up air catch on the top platform. But yeah, no, exactly. 
Penguins really good doing catching. It. I know Cake has got so kill. much mileage out of those oh full hot bears to catch Penguins Rising Clouds. That actually it can be so scary to pressure her because it's like the cloud is just a giant hitbox. It's hard to stop out because it's meant to prevent you from jumping and lock you down. But if you do it preemptively, oh, and very, very He nice died to... out on that, and I think that's actually what causes that's yeah, yeah. what caused the kill. He didn't drift hard enough on that. No, he uh, could have just uh, down tilt, so he might he just... have actually been able to maybe hold down and just live it. I don't know. I feel like holding output him closer to the side blast than anything else. Now, suddenly, <laughs> Penguin's down a whole stock and lapped so far in percent. Yeah, this game is about super, super fast. Take has just been demolishing him. Oh, goes just my words about this match. Slides a little bit too far. Doesn't get that off smash. I saw it. He definitely wanted it. Wave lane down oh, smash. Yeah, yes. there it is, baby. Down smash is so good. He did that really against up. MSB. I think the only counterplay with that is that you have to hold straight down in tech. But most situations like that one, you just don't touch the ground. So yeah. he just gets the down No, he smash literally before you gets there land. before you can even you have the option to attack. That's like he's doing it fast enough. He's like on rift. He's like I'm just doing this confirm. That's it. So and good. I mean that's a really strong response too. Like game two, just solid two stock, killing uh, penguin at like 70, making light work of the light character. He's got an interesting character oh, for game three. We're really going to FT. Okay, so Forest burns. Like, I feel like 9 out of 10 Force Burns, 99% of them will ban this Absolutely. Stage. Force Burn loves plot drop aerials. I know Cake is no exception, but his neutral has been so good that he can mix it up a lot. Oh, not even just that. It's just the recovery. Like, where do you... You can't really mix anything up. You have no platforms to work with. You just, oh, you can do that, Ooh, though. Yeah, you can pop the clone, save your wall jump and your double jump, and you can just kind of sneak on stage. Ooh, great down tech. You can tell that there's a lot of just like player-specific counterplay happening. Lots of just in-person adaptations Ooh. to things that only they would do. Penguin DIing out on that back row is actually so important because Kate went for the dare spike. Like if that hit, that was definitely dead. Oh, the stall! That's actually another thing that Forsman really has on Absolute. Like there is, they can do a lot of stalling. Good Absolutely. Fare in the now smoke. that there's a recent buff, I think it was a couple months ago, where you can get your jump back after up being into the wall jump, um, up being yeah. into the smoke. It's huge for his recovery. He used to be so linear, but now it just opens up so many options for him to go high. And it's a little hard for Absolute to get rid of the smoke, so it's definitely like an added benefit in this match specifically. Oh, great. Nice. Cape, down tilt, back air, classic. And combusts online, but he also just create stage control, which I, you know, it's good. I honestly genuinely think that, like, the more Forest Burns uh, start to use smoke and the, uh, Deception characters uh, kind of motif. Uh, the more successful it starts to see, at least yeah. in our regard. Like cause... a lot of forest burns would just kind of like use their normals, which I don't blame them for. They're really, really good normals, and his specials are a little bit niche. But Kick typically tends to mix it up, use clone in a lot of ways to help him approach. He uses smoke and is able to stall with that. Like you can see, he uses it on the top there to help enhance his recoveries. Ooh, like like that, you can use it to extend it and possibly just like bear him off the side again. Yeah, exactly. And we saw there like. Cake went up there, created a clone, and it just kind of went back down to the stage and let the clone tank the hit because, yeah, he, Penguin thought that he was up there. A little bit of fact about Forest Burn's clone, you can actually set it to offensive and defensive. So for things like popping clone spike, if Penguin was to ever recover low, you can set it so that it will just follow them down and you can do clone spike pops with it. It's really good in this matchup if they're recovering low. It's God, really good against Krag Cake if they're in the pillar. so good right now. He's controlling stage now will be this terrible counterfeit, calling out all of Penguin's refresh, the rising subbies. There was the attempt at the cloud pop. Yep, like another back air. Right Next one's probably going to do it. Oh, wait, no. Just forward smashes. Okay. Oh, he wanted the second. Yeah, he wanted the jump catch there. Yeah, sending the clone there to possibly clone and spike him, like I mentioned earlier. Oh, just goes in with a raw back air. His, his call outs on that have been impeccable. It's one yeah. of the biggest things he's learned from Penguin's habit after playing him for yeah. several, several years. You saw Penguin was trying to use the uh, cloud to sort of protect himself going down below, but Cake was ready for that every single time. He just kind of waited there and was like, oh, cloud stopped? Cool, I'm a backer you now. Enforced floor. Interesting. Definitely want to hear what you think about this stage. I mean, I like it. Again, the small side blast zones make it super good for Absa. Top blast zone being so close is super good for Absa as well. But I mean, like, in general, Force is pretty good against Absa. Yeah. And oh my that, that's He's another reason. So it, much it, mileage out of these sweet, like, turn, full hot bears because the cloud is rising clouds, rising clouds, rising jumps. Yeah. Super good, just like player awareness. Like, I know it, Penguin's going to do this, and I'm just going to hit him out of it, punish him, kill him for it. Every time. Oh, wait, here we go. Yep, there oh, it is. See, that's the small there. ceiling coming into effect. But the main thing is that when Forsman is doing back here, the small ceiling is a double edged sword just because of the fact that you need to start DIing out a little bit more because otherwise you're going to die off the top. Yeah. But 
I mean, you saw that. Absence is able to kill at like 70 before the hit. So, oh, great down air. Doing a really good job of edge guarding and it's killing Absa, and now Penguin's on potential winner stock. Just like that. It's only been a minute. These stocks are so dropping fast. like flies. Ooh, he wanted, you know he, he was going to go for the double. Yeah, he mm. absolutely would have. Yeah. Cake will go for it. He was on last stock. Got his resources back. Edge guard sequence reset. No, Penguin gets back to stage deep. and now in a reversal. Flinched in the corner. Die. Yeah. Yep, I see he, he died he died further down, but that's gonna do it. The oh, SD, SD uncharacteristic SD. Cake was too far in his head. And that's a 3-1 and Cake moves on into Grants. Extremely decisive win from Cake. Even though Penguin got a game, he was in full control these past two games on Penguin's counter picks as well. Even Bang. losing that, he would beat him on FD. That's like considered that, like the worst Forest Burn stage. Lost yeah, a lot of Forest Burns don't like that stage. Like Penguin still wasn't playing too bad, but Cake was just in his head. He had such good stage control, such good presence of mind to go for stuff like that. Like that was a beautiful up smash to get. His awareness is incredible. And then, boop. see, we saw it there again. Like he di'd down more, and I think that allowed him to live. Because if he di'd out, it would have definitely just killed off the side. Yeah. But man, three one. Like that wasn't even like. I don't want to say it didn't look like it was close because the game won. Like I thought, oh, Penguins, Penguins are not pretty good, and then Cake just kicked it up like a whole different notch and just bam, 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 bam. Like Super business, business. Win for Cake. business time. Definitely. And then now he's sitting on Winterside Grand. These two crags that we're about to see are going to be fighting for the right to fight 